as an, an African American male, um, I, I felt I felt bad for the president. Now, those who know me know that I am not necessarily in support of, of President Barack Obama, although I wish the president well. I pray for our president. I want God to protect him. I want God to watch over him. Matter of fact, the Bible says the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. I'm praying that God would steer this man's heart, that God would touch him. We're told in the scripture to pray for our kings and for our leaders, and I am praying for him. With regard to his policies, I disagree with 90% of them. Uh, I did not vote for him the first time because uh, I believe that abortion is wrong. Um, he is perhaps the most pro-abortion president that we've ever had. But when he won, I must admit, to see a, a, a man standing in the most powerful office in the free world whose skin color is, is like mine and, and his lovely wife, and to see this African-American family you know, half black, <laughs> the president, you know, you, you don't want to forget his mother and, uh, and his grandmother and, and, and that, that aspect of him. But to see this African-American man with his lovely wife and those beautiful girls standing in the office of the presidency of the United States of America, I'd lie to you, my friends, if I did not feel a sense of pride. Back to the first debate, that's what we're talking about. I am a conservative in terms of my view of the way we, we, we live our lives. And I would, I would suppose with some of my positions, uh, some would have actually called me a liberal also. Mitt Romney is a, is a fine man. I think that uh, a, a lot of his political positions I do agree with. Some I do not agree with. I like the fact that he is for protecting religious freedoms. I like the fact that he is for protecting the institution of marriage and things of that nature. But did Mitt Romney win the debate? You'd have to be, you'd have to be from another world to say that he did. He was forceful, he was deliberate, even when they communicated. Mr. Romney, every time he answered a question, he talked to the president, he looked him eye to eye. The president, someone said that he seemed distracted. Personally, to me, he seemed afraid. Uh, angry at certain times, afraid at others, but you didn't see, you, 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 what you certainly didn't see was the dignity and the strength that accompanies, that should accompany anyone who stands in that office. My concern is what happens to him when he gets behind closed doors with world leaders.